An important part of emotional fitness is knowing what is worth protecting. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson. Today's lesson comes to us from Trinidad and it shows us a carjacking that turns into a murder. It's gonna teach us some important lessons here about going with your gut and knowing when things are wrong. Secondly, it's gonna show us in advance for all of us at least, how to think about what we're willing to protect because of the potential consequences that could come our way if we choose to. The guy in the white who's uh, just barely visible here is the victim and these other guys are casing his car. He's left his keys in the ignition and the door's unlocked and he even told another customer that he thought they were going to try to steal his car. And sure enough, as we slow it down to regular speed, they are going to jump in the car. Now he runs over to try to get him and in the process, the guy getting into the back seat shoots him twice. Now they're going to run him over and if you go read the news story, this man will die of his injuries. Let's go back and learn some lessons. First of all, lock your doors. If you are not in your car, you need to have the keys with you and the doors locked at all times. Never leave the keys in the ignition of your car and never leave your car unlocked. This is just good active self-protection. Now we think about when the, the actual carjacking starts, you know, when the grand theft starts. You gotta know with emotional fitness what you're gonna defend. If you had family in that car, absolutely defend it to the death. But just for the car itself, if these guys are stealing the car, you gotta recognize what the potential dangers are and not go after them like this. I know we say our stuff is important to us, but look at what happens. First of all, before he ever gets to the car, the guy in the back seat shoots him the first time. And guys, clearly getting shot over your car is not worth it. If you were gonna get in a gunfight for your car title, you wouldn't do that. That second shot there is the one that did him in and now he's done. So you gotta know what to fight for. To, to get yourself out of the danger zone, to go back in the store if you possibly can. Finally here we see this guy, he gets up and he's got some time. So you gotta stay in the fight no matter what, as long as you can. Know your first aid skills, but also your spiritual fitness needs to be strong because you never know the day that you wake up is gonna be the day that you go meet God. You wanna have your spiritual fitness strong and be at peace with God, peace with your family, because you never know when you're gonna meet him, but you always gotta have that as part of your active self-protection.